Hello everybody, so in this video I just want to give you a um, update on the uh, WA Aviation stock. So full disclosure, I'm not a financial advisor, please do your own research. So I could lose 100% of my money, uh, of your money as well. So please don't copy my trade. And just want to let you know that please don't, uh, this is a very, 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 very speculative and risky trade. So please don't put a lot of your money on this so right now so let me tell you how i think about buying this stock so right now this stock is just basically hope and dreams okay don't bet your whole portfolio on this stock if you want to lose if you want to lose all your money put it on that stock that's how you lose 100 percent of your money okay it's very risky it's like how hard it is for them to accomplish because the product WAV aviation is in like a designed and uh, electrical protocol takeoff aircraft is extremely hard okay it's like going going to Japan from the USA without taking airplane or anything just going to Japan from USA on foot on foot okay that's gonna be that's how hard it is to develop a new vehicle. Okay, is it possible to go from U.S. to Japan on foot? Yes, you have to build a boat yourself and go over the Atlantic Ocean. That's how hard it is. You have to build your out a boat and also you gotta go fish to make food and stuff like that. It's extremely hard to do that. Okay, so that is how hard it is. So don't bet. Your whole portfolio on this best night. What I'm gonna do is buy on incremental chunks. So when they receive like um, FAA certification by a little bit, the next milestone when they manufacture uh, their uh, Joby aircraft, the five seater by a little bit. Then when they increase production by a little bit, and then when they, when they, uh, uh, right, when they achieve full production, and, and, and you can, when you can actually ride on Joby aircraft in this night, like, no setbacks or, 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 or accident or anything like that, you can buy more. Please remember that it's not too late to buy if they are successful okay if you buy like, like for example for example tesla like when they when they are um, first finished model 3 the model s to model 3 that's a big space and you can still buy between the time you can still excuse me 20 x your money if you buy like Walmart 10 years ago when they were like very mature 10 years ago you, you can still like at least like 2 or 3x your money okay so so just so you to know that don't uh <coughs> don't 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 fall more into and stuck like that okay you can always buy when they are successful and you can still make a lot of money when, when when they can prove they can execute okay uh, right now i only have like hundred dollars on this stock i don't have 200 but i, I actually only have a hundred so here's proof and um, my average cost is like five dollar and 98 cent and i just put some little bit little bit of money on this okay so it's pretty pretty um pretty fun to look at this if Joby CEO Joe Bang Joe Bang I don't know how to pronounce his name and I um but he he went to like Stanford and he actually like founded two other company companies that were successful and did an exit so what 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 Joby trying to do is actually very revolutionary okay because you are creating a third dimension of transportation first dimension is a road second dimension is tunnels third dimension is the airplane electrical takeout airplane it's like a it's like a car 
something like that that can that can go up to 200 miles per hour and have 100 miles of range okay so let's I took a lot of notes let's talk about some notes okay so like from 2009 like I uh, also do want also want to let you know that on the previous video I made about Soviet aviation I said that they are, they found it on 2011 that's actually false they are actually found it on 2009 that's why you should always do your own research yeah. <coughs> so I could be wrong you can double check me as well so from 2009 to 2021 they lost about 481 uh, million dollars so that's cumulative from that more for more than 10 years they lost 481 dollars no 481 million dollars okay almost made a mistake okay and the only reason that i like um Joby aviation instead of Archer Aviation, Vertical Aviation, uh, Lilium Aviation is because Joby Aviation is the most vertical integrated uh, company. They plan to manufacture their own uh, uh, aircraft and they are also manufacturing uh, the main parts of the aircraft as well. So like motors, okay. I actually cannot find um, which which main part they are manufacturing themselves. So if you know, please leave a comment in the comment section below. So like I said, they still lead lead supply chains for like um, like screen protectors, uh, uh, wires, like uh, chairs, skin like skins for chair and handles for the aircraft lights and stuff like that so that they can supply chain that but main main parts they need to manufacture themselves and do the r and d themselves like motors that's mainly that okay um uh, to achieve 2024 commercialization uh they they think it will cost them 850 to 900 million dollars and that's that's just their estimate and right now they have around one one billion to 1.3 billion dollars on cash one billion on balance sheet 300 million on like um cash securities and something like that and i forgot to look it up but it's around one billion dollars on cash okay so Another uh, interesting fact I found out like when they they burned from 2009 to 2021 they burned through like almost 500 half a billion dollars in cash where do they get that money so actually Toyota invested 400 million dollars 400 million dollars to develop this vertical takeoff airplane and 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 Toyota, Toyota actually owns around thirteen percent of the company, and then the CEO Joe Ben owns about sixteen point three percent. Okay, I'm not really sure um if the percentage owns is still the same after the IPO after merger, but that's what they own. Um, for the X S one filing, okay. And Paul and Sarah, that's the chairman, I think, that co-founded Pinterest, he owns 9.9%. Okay, what gave me uh, so interested on this company is that um, they actually did a five-year, up to, that's very important, up to five-year lockout of their founder's shares. So, uh how does that work so first year like if the that is um five i think i'm not really sure they explained it on the s1 and i did not read it so you have to read it yourself and and get a uh, idea how 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 to how one can they one can the uh, founder and the uh, uh, venture capitals and Toyota can sell their series but here's the summary. Basically, I think is how how they did it. Is basically first year, 
when pricing reach twelve dollars per share, they can sell a little bit. Second year reach something like twenty something, they can sell. Then, at uh, year five, they can sell as much as they want when the price reach, I think fifty dollars. Okay, so that's basically uh, summarize it. I could be wrong, so I just look it up. So it lock out up to five years. So. Now when when Joby like IPO the CEO can sell and become a billionaire with sixteen percent ownership, but he did not. So that's a really good thing to see. And another um thing, an interesting thing I found out is to certify a aircraft like like a com <coughs> commercial aircraft. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Like the 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 one that Joby is doing, a new technology, new aircraft, brand new aircraft. It usually takes five to nine years to uh to certify a brand new aircraft. Okay. So I actually believe that like Archer Aviation, in uh, Lilian Aviation, Fargo Aviation. They all give guidance that they will achieve commercialization and get the FAA certification on twenty twenty four. I think that is, I think it was a joke. Okay, I don't. I don't. All three of them, none of them will achieve achieve that goal on twenty twenty four, because if you're really good at it, it will still at least take you five years. If you are suck at doing vehicle certification, like engineering and stuff, probably it will take you nine years. And and when the archer started, like archer, like, like let's go compare, like now let's compare the competition. Archer Aviation, okay. Um, right now is building a aircraft called Maker. That's two seaters, okay. And right now, that aircraft can only do a hover, go up and go down. That's it. It cannot even fly. And right now it's twenty twenty two, okay. And it takes five year to nine year to certify a a vehicle. And that's not the vehicle that will go to the commercialization. The vehicle that go will go to the commercialization is the full. See the vehicle or five C. I don't know which one. But Archer trying to build. They, I don't think they even build that vehicle yet. So I think my estimate. I could be wrong, hundred percent. Right, just my estimate, just my opinion. Please don't don't get mad. And please also do your own research as well. They probably they can commercialize like probably on twenty twenty eight, twenty twenty nine. Okay. Because they are, they are right now. Their vehicle can only hover, go up and go down. That's it. That it cannot even fly. Okay, so that's basically for Archer. It's like three or four years behind Joby Aviation. Okay, what what can Joby Aviation do? They already have a five seater vehicle, Joby Aviation. And it can fly around a big circle. I don't know how how wide of a mileage. Like you can fly around a like a park for one hour and seventeen minutes. Okay, and it fly for hundred fifty four miles. That is incredible. They basically got a working prototype, unless like they burn it out or something and catch a fire. That have not happened. Okay, and they are building a second. Um,、mm, pre-production prototype. All right, let's talk about Lilium、uh, aircraft. Okay, they are they are testing the um. Also have a like a five seater and on twenty twenty. It was only able to fly for two minutes, and then on twenty twenty one, and then that vehicle catch a fire, catches fire. Okay. And then and then and then they abandoned that five seater and they they haven't even got gotten that five seater to work and then they abandoned that project and going to do a seven seater. 
listen to that. They haven't got the five seater to work yet, but they are going to build the seven seat aircraft, Lithium Aviation. They are probably like three, two, two or three years behind Toby as well. Okay, good luck. As good luck to them as well. So, no worry on those two competition. And vertical aviation, they are going to build the. Uh, uh, I think they are going to build a five seater as well. It's called BAX four. And they that vertical say that they will build doing commercialization on twenty twenty four. Do you know how many right now for vertical aviation haven't even built the vehicle yet? No vehicle can I even hover nothing. They don't even have a vehicle. They're still building it right now. So that means you cannot even fly and they can they and they think they can um uh like achieve commercialization on twenty twenty-four. Okay, leave that let me know in the comment section below and what like what you think about what you think about all those other aviations okay so on some like basic basically Joby aviation is not two or three years or probably five years two to five years ahead of everybody everybody i haven't even found a a like a competitor that's even close to what Joby is doing uh, sorry about that the dog barking sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm just gonna keep talking. Okay. So, so I don't know. Uh, like, I think it's like it's kind of kind of really bad for those aviation companies to give a such unrealistic guidance. Okay, that like they can achieve commercialization by twenty twenty four. Like. I now right now I am I am doubting Joby can can even achieve commercialization by twenty twenty four as well. Maybe they can do it by twenty twenty five. Do you know do you know why it's so hard to build a new aircraft? It's because aircraft parts that have been never manu mass manufactured before. So how they have to invent new manufacture process to manufacture the the new uh, vertical takeoff uh, plane parts. Okay, that that's really hard as well. And then it's and then it's because it's a new aircraft. It leads a lot a lot of time, probably two or three or four or five years, two to five years to test the battery, the motor, like uh, the material, and then like uh, stress test the wire, everything. Okay. Now, if Tesla announced they are going to build a like a uh, Ifitor to compete with Joby, or do you think, do you really think they can only they can build it in one year? Nope, because the replication will take five years. Okay, there's no way Tesla can catch up to Joby Aviation. I'm not even worried about that. And I, I have no worry about competition right now okay another um uh someone i think subscriber uh i forgot his name uh let me see uh i gave a shout out to him as well he leave a lot of comment on my oh his name is no complaint he asked me about what i think about iha okay Shout out to him. He uh, leave a lot of comment. He's asking a lot of uh, pretty good questions in the comment section. So yes, that's good. Ask uh, a lot of questions, and you will be a great investor as well. So am I worried about Ehang competing against Joby Aviation? No. So right now Ehang have two vehicles. First one is Ehang two one six. Although they have a working prototype. Working, not a prototype, maybe working uh, aircraft. I don't, uh, uh, I don't really think it's something that can compete with the aviation. Uh, uh, Ehan two one six is two passenger uh, uh, aircraft. Joby is five passenger. 
and Joby can right now can achieve uh, like 150 miles e 216 have a range of 9.9 .9 miles okay and then they have another vehicle e 184 can go up to 62 miles and you know, it, it, it can only carry is a e 184 is one passenger vehicle okay also have a range of 9.9 9.9 miles okay so it's 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 not it's not a competitor it's nothing that can compete with uh, Zobi aviation is because the difference between their vehicles is like night and day and according to my opinion okay so I could be wrong so just do your own research I forgot to write, write down the range, I think it was like 30, 30 miles to 60 and I forgot what's the range for those vehicles but uh, please uh, look it out yourself as well so I completely forgot about that to write that down but it's nothing uh, that's like I should worry about so that's basically it for the uh, for those two so in summary, if you want like, like if like Joby Aviation can accomplish and build a aircraft and certify it, it is like a huge multi backer stock, okay. But the risk of failure is way too high, so that's why I'm gonna like I suggest one in the beginning of the video. When they accomplish one goal, I gotta buy a little bit. When they accomplish certification, I gotta buy a little bit. When they achieve fine by testing, buy a little bit. When they um, actually put the vehicle in service and actually generating revenue, I will buy more. When they launch into 100 cities, I'll take a big bet, probably a big bet on this. Uh, company so it's not too late to buy when they achieve like launch 100 cities not too late you can still make like five to ten backers on a stock okay the fail failure rate is way too high don't put a lot of your money on this uh, hope and dream stock right now that's why I only put a hundred dollar okay don't put like more than hundred in my opinion just my opinion okay if you lose money please don't don't blame me so I just let you know what's the situation right now. Mm -hmm. So that's basically, yeah, summary of everything. I, like, yeah, last night I was like uh, reading their S1 from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, you know, like mm, doing research. Now S1 was like 240 something pages. Yeah, it was pretty good. Just read it and I fall asleep. It was pretty easy to fall asleep reading the <laughs> S1 because like your brain gets tired of reading that kind of stuff now you can you can also read, read the S1 on the uh, Joby Aviation Investor Relations page okay you will know a lot when you read the S1 they will tell, tell you about the, their company history and everything so now in the S1 I try to find like which part which like important part they manufacture themselves but I cannot find it so if you know please leave it leave uh, in the comment section below yeah so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one